Hi and welcome back to Bum Studios. In our last video we created our character and the Ready Player Me application um, from the website and we've imported we also imported the Ready Player Me SDK into the Unity game engine and in this tutorial uh, we're going to learn how to make some more modifications in Unity and customizations to our character. First thing I'm doing, I'm just moving the camera to the other side. And now we're going to convert the Ready Player Me GLB format to the VRM format. The first step in doing this, make sure your character's rotation and position are set to zero. And then you want to make sure you have your um, player highlighted under the hierarchy. And then you're going to go to the VRMO tab at the top of your Unity game engine and then select export to VRM. That will bring up this screen. Uh, you want to create a title for your character and then it should open up a new category version um, and author. After you have selected those, it will allow you to click the export button at the bottom. If you do not add those, it will not let you export the character. The other stuff on this screen is not super important, but there are permissions you could add if you're going to upload this um, to Vroid Hub or another app that will allow permissions for other people to use it and um, the specifics of the permissions, such as if they can be used as violent acts or for commercial purposes. Okay, now we're just going to right click under our projects folder. Right click on assets and then create and then folder and then name it whatever you want. In this case, I'll name it Brian or something. And um, that'll be the folder that we'll import our VRM back into. Okay, so in order to do this, you're going to go back up to the VRMO folder and then go down to import instead of export. Find the one that you just created and then it'll ask you what folder you're going to load it into and um, then you're going to import it back into the project. Okay, so you'll notice since we imported the character back in, it created a bunch of new folders for the character, and it also created a prefab character that we can drag back up to our um, scene under the hierarchy. I had some issues with my screen record, so I shared some screen captures with you guys so you'll be able to follow along. And the reason why we converted to VRM format instead of the GLB format is because for me it's easier to use and um, to make modifications because you have texture folders and all the things related to the character now um, instead of just the GLB format that doesn't provide you those things. And it will give us greater flexibility as far as placing them into other apps. This file conversion process, as you see, does do some funky stuff with some of the textures on occasion, but it's an easy fix. Okay, we're going to end this video here for now, and we'll pick up on the next one, creating and modifying hair for the character. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.